Today, we have an interesting challenge. We need to print the employee if the employee is available in the optional object. Else, we need to print a default employee by invoking the method populate employee of generator util. Now, you will say that, okay, Abhishek, it's very simple. What we will do is that after this find first, we will be invoking the method or else get. And within that or else get, we will be invoking the method populate employee of generator util. But the trick is that you can't do that. Instead, you need to make usage of this particular code snippet. So here what they are doing is that first of all, we are having a Boolean value available here, which I have hard coded as of now. So if this Boolean value is true, then we need to print the default employee else we need to print the employee which we are getting from this optional. So the question is how we can get a boolean value out of this optional because this is an optional of employee. So that is very easy. What we can do is we just need to say here optional and then we can say here is empty something like this. Now in case if it is empty this not available will become true and it is going to print you populate employee else it is going to print the employee available in the optional object. So let's execute the code. So first of all, you can see that we are getting the exact object as it is because the limit is 12. Now let me change the limit as 24 and let's execute again. This time you see that this optional is empty. Hence we are getting the object from the populate employee method of generator util. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.